What is up? My amazing people! <laughs> All right, we are here again exploring future, futuring my cousin Edman and my sisters. Hey, we are at the Mop Museum. The, There's no the broom museum. I know it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yes, we are at the Mob Museum. So it's actually in Fremont, so I can't wait for you guys to see. It's a little museum. It'll take you guys about an hour and a half or two to finish. Oh, really? Yeah. What? <laughs> I thought we were here for 15 minutes. <laughs> and well, after that, we're gonna get hungry. And I know just the place to eat after this. So you guys don't want to miss this. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey. Let's go. <laughs> guys mask is up and if you guys are looking for parking it's actually right across the street from it or across the wall is five dollars yeah or across the wall it's five dollars for the whole day um but seven dollars for right now um and you just come and park and you know it'll give you enough chance to come and explore this place It gives me like Monster Inc. vibes. You know what? Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a little Monster Inc. vibes for sure. <laughs> We're just getting a uh, screen tested right now. Uh, so we are into this room and it'll take you like towards the end where the gift shop is. And we're just gonna get screen checked to see if our temperature is good. No, sir. I have a question for yes. you. Okay. <laughs> What's the password? Bathtub gin. Bathtub Jen. Okay. Change every Friday. I think next one's like cat's meow. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> we got the best for you. <laughs> and he gives us the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> So we bought our tickets online and then we went ahead and uh, showed our ID. Since we are locals, you get a half percent off. If you're a student, you also get a discount. And they gave us these little stylus thingies that you can just go ahead and touch around because, you know, COVID. <laughs>
the wealthiest. We yeah, run that's Mexico. Crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. You have that. I don't know why I'm so proud about you. That's, that's big on in like corridos now. For real? Yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, they are notorious for massacres, beheadings, and kidnappings, and for corrupting police and politicians. That's very true. We just got done discovering the mob museum. What do you guys think? Definitely recommend coming, guys. If you're into crime, to you know, just the Mobs. mafia, everything yeah. like that, guys. Definitely recommend it. What show did you recommend from Netflix? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. If you haven't seen, obviously, if you haven't, then you've been living under a rock for <laughs> yeah. some reason. Breaking Bad. Narcos, obviously, yep. Chapel. Obviously. Subtitle, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, all of those are good shows to actually, you know, come and get that inspiration of that vibe. What did you guys think of it? I loved it surprisingly because I don't really like crime, but it's very, it's very informational. Like it makes you realize that the mob is within us. Looking. <laughs> And we were ahead of the game for a while. For real, I'm proud of my, my city. It might have a lot of crime, but Las Vegas was ahead of its time. Hashtag Vegas ahead of its time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to go and I'm going to show you guys a little undercover thing. That's why I needed the password. And if you guys remember, I asked this guy for the password. What's the password? Bathtub gin. So this is the time to use it. Let's go. You are gonna look for the wheelbarrow to find a hidden bar. All right, let's go. So we just finished the underground. It is a bar. There's like bar food, but we're a little too hungry for that. So we're gonna catch something else. But that actually ends the Mob Museum tour. I wasn't able to film all that much just because it is a little restricted and you guys just gotta come and find out, uh, you know, and kind of experience it for yourselves. So it's actually pretty cool. It's worth it. And at nights when the Mob Museum is closed, the bar is still open. Go check them out on Instagram. I will leave their Instagram info down below. And when this whole thing is over, they did say that usually they will have jazz playing Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And they'll have all that information in their Instagram. But it's a fun experience. Come and check it out if you're in Vegas or you haven't checked it out yet and you're into all of this mob mysterious things. They have different packets that you can go and discover different um, kind of uh, investigation rooms and crime things. If you're into that, come and enjoy it. So again, this is the Mob Museum, underground Mob Museum, like bar thing. And we're off to go eat something else. Let's go. <laughs> Are done eating that was delicious if you didn't guess where we ate we ate at skinny fats and if you don't know where that's at check out the video where I discovered Bellagio and we also explored skinny fats so we ate skinny fats my cousin had actually never been there so it was a nice you know little tour around that we we did for him uh, and now if you haven't guessed 
we are back at the Bellagio. We're gonna just show him around. I'm gonna show you around what Bellagio has actually updated itself since the last video that I made. Then from there, we are off to the house. So I'll see you guys there. Check out a few videos that I'll be able to get on this little trip while the sun is going down. Catch a little bit of the show. And I'll see you guys back at home. All right, all right, let's go. All right, and we're back. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for sticking around and checking it out. I know I couldn't record so much at the Mob Museum just because it is a bit restricted, but I hope you enjoyed the whole day of activities that I hope you get to try out being here in Vegas. Now, when going around all of these places, a word just kept coming into mind, and I decided to make it the word of the day just because I thought it was pretty, pretty solid for today's video. <laughs> and so today's word of the day is influence. Okay, so influence, influencer, whatever you wanna make out of it, I just wanna talk about the importance of being an influencer. Now, at the end of my video, I always do say, don't forget to, you know, don't let anything or anybody dull that shine. And why do I say that? Because, my friends, you guys are the light of the world. You guys are like the salt of everything you know salt gives it a little flavor to the food as it does in real life so if you guys are the light of the world and you guys have like that you know uh kind of vibe of shedding all that little the little sason the little flavor to your life and to the people around you life will just always be a good time so with influencing or being an influencer that also reminded me of what the mob really was and that was being a big influencer not to the way that we would want this world to be like or any way that we would actually want an influencer to be, uh, but it still is an influencer and influenced a lot of people and towards those actions influenced what Vegas is today. When putting this into perspective into your own life, you really have to be careful with the people that you involve yourself with if they're actually good people around your life. Remember that we all have to strive to be leaders instead of followers in this world because if we end up just following people, we go into it blindly instead of seeing what's in front of us as leaders. With being a leader and also, you know, showing that importance of being a good influencer, that also becomes a portrayal of like, what are you gonna use it for? Are you gonna be a good influencer? Are you gonna use it for good into making a, a change in the world for good? Or are you gonna make it into more of like starting another mafia? <laughs> so in Spanish, there's actually a saying that says, Dime con quién andas y te diré quién eres, which in English it kind of translates into tell me who you're with and I'll tell you who you are. And that kind of tells, so, you know, takes you back and it's like, oh dang, okay, like if I'm hanging out with a different type of crowd or a specific type of crowd, that really does portray who I am and or, or what my mentality might be. Now it might not be so easy to understand right now if that's you right now. It might be like, well, my friends are just to spend a good time and that's about it. But others will also understand that life takes a toll on you and only the strong people, only the realest people will actually stick around. With this, we definitely have to be selective with the type of people that we involve ourselves with and the types of friends we allow in our lives. I get it, a lot of people can 
even myself, can look at the good at people and say, well, they're just going through something right now, or it's just who they are right now, but they're capable of being so much better. That's great. If you're able to take that charge in guiding them into a better situation, then take that role as a leader and guide them. But don't allow you to be influenced. Be more of the influencer into their lives so they know a better, a better guide and a better definition of what this world can actually be like. Also remember that bad company also ruins good morals. If you are based into a track of like a mindset of I'm gonna get this done, I have so and so goal, and you're doing great, and then this person comes and now you're not strong enough to be the influencer and you're more being the influencee, then be careful with that because you definitely don't want your good morals to go bad just because of a person someone that didn't have the greatest intentions in your life and now it backtracks you instead of moving forward. Now, I'm a strong believer that iron sharpens iron. If you're not sharp enough to match the level that I need to sharpen, then what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, we need to work on ourselves to be those leaders, those born leaders that I know we are and just kind of be those influencers and know how to kind of adapt it to our lives to be like, is this person going to benefit my life or are they just gonna be someone that is gonna take me a step back and not really reach for my goal? Because not everyone is meant to be your friend for the long run. They are always there and they're always gonna be in, in a time lapse of your life, whether it's to show you something, whether it's to guide you in a place, or be a big uh, supporter in your life. So remember to always do the little salt onto this world because we need people like you out in this world sharing love and sharing a big influence for the good. In the museum, you'll actually catch a lot of people that were big influencers and you'll see the chain that they created. Now, imagine what you can do. You are one person, but one person, one brain, many ideas. You can go as far as you'd want to and I'd like to see that. Become the influencer that you would have wanted to, you know, reach out and actually have in your life back 10, 20 years ago. And something I always tell my friends is be the type of person that you'd want your kid to be one day because at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones looking up to you. They're going to be the ones that you're going to be the first ones that they see when they open their eyes. Who would you want them to see? Because at the end of it all, our testimony is honestly the biggest thing we carry with us. So depending on what life has hit you with, how you've responded, and the circumstances that have come with it, that's totally fine because it makes you who you are. And not only that, but as you're striving and you're actually pushing yourself through all of these trials where you think you're looking down on the floor, five people are actually looking at you. They're observing what you're doing and how you're coping with life because maybe they see themselves in the same spot, but they don't know how to get themselves out of this like foggy place in their life. So we might not be super vocal to ask for help in this world, but as long as you can be out there doing what you do and sharing to this world that, hey, no matter what battle comes my way, I'm gonna sprinkle that salt into this world and call it a dick. <laughs> So, mis amigos, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate you guys. And if you liked it, please go ahead and like, subscribe, because I want you to come back for another video so I can go explore more for you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, share with all your friends who are maybe going into town for Vegas or live here and have no idea that these things exist. And like this word of the day says, be you because no one else is out there being you. You know, there's only one you, there's only one original you, so let's make the best of it. So remember that you are the light of the world, so don't let anybody or anything do that shine. Alright guys, love you so much, God bless you, and adios amigos! <laughs>